Every year, new players break out and establish themselves as the stars of the future. So let's talk about some prime breakout candidates for the 2023 Nippon Professional Baseball season. This video will cover the pitchers, and the previous video was about the hitters. For the purposes of this video, a breakout candidate is simply any player who I think is yet to reach their full potential, so I'm prioritizing youngsters, but they don't necessarily have to be a top prospect. Now, I know I'm not going to get all of these right, but hopefully this sparks your interest to keep close tabs on these guys and check in on them every once in a while. The Oryx Buffaloes are a pitching factory with how many amazing arms they've produced over the past decade, and it's becoming a running joke that the majority of their pitching staff is comprised of guys named Yama, including Yoshinobu Yamamoto, Taisuke Yamaoka, Satya Yamasaki, and Soichiro Yamazaki, but there is another Yama on the rise, and his name is Shumpeita Yamashita. He sits in the mid-90s, he's developed a new forkball over the offseason, and he has some insane swing in this stuff. He had 10.7 strikeouts per 9 innings on the farm last year and absolutely has the stuff to take on the ace status for the Buffaloes after Yamamoto is gone. He made his MPB debut on opening day, becoming the first Buffaloes franchise pitcher in 69 years to make his debut as the opening day starter, so hopefully he stays healthy and keeps his spot in the rotation all year. It might be a bit of a stretch to call Koya Fuji a breakout candidate because he already had a huge coming out party last season out of the Soft Bank Hawks bullpen, but I said that my definition of a breakout is any player that's yet to reach their full potential, and I think Fuji's value is going to skyrocket this season as he transitions to a starting pitcher. Fuji is really in a unique position because he was a complete bust with the Hiroshima Carp, the team that originally drafted him, and he wasn't even in the league anymore in 2021, resorting to play in the Shikoku Island Plus Independent League. But he made a miraculous comeback to the MPB stage last year with SoftBank, posting a 1.12 ERA with 81 strikeouts and 56 in a third innings. He also went the entire year without giving up a home run, and his fielding independent pitching was an astonishing 1.10. So with his mid-90s fastball and solid secondaries, Fuji is poised to become the true ace of his staff that really needs someone to step up with Kodai Senga out the door. Hiroto Saiki is another guy that's already sort of had a breakout, but I think he's got way more to offer, and that's why he's on this list. As with so many other Japanese pitchers, Saiki's bread and butter is the fastball split finger combo, though he does have a cutter and curveball to throw into the mix too. The 24-year-old made 8 stars in 2022 and pitched to a 1.53 ERA with a 23.1% strikeout rate and a 26.2% whiff rate, both elite marks. He even threw a complete game shutout, though that is pretty deceiving because it was only a 6-inning game. Saiki also got some valuable experience facing Samurai Japan in an exhibition game before the WBC, and though he did get hit around a little bit, he showed a lot of poise and confidence going up against some of the best hitters in the world, so I expect great things from him in 2023. Speaking of Samurai Japan, Atsuki Taneichi was on the designated pitcher pool and got a chance to pitch in an exhibition game too, throwing four scoreless innings. His command isn't really there right now, and that's what's holding him back, but if he can find the strike zone more consistently and keep the ball in the park, then he absolutely has the stuff to be a top-of-the-rotation type guy. He only throws in the low 90s, but he pairs it very effectively with his slider and forkball. In 2019, he displayed his wipeout stuff when he had a 26.7% strikeout rate across 116 and two-thirds innings as a 20-year-old. Among pitchers with at least 110 innings pitched, he ranked first in the entire Pacific League with a 28.7% whiff rate. Now, he missed all of 2021 with Tommy John, but he came back and had a 2.89 ERA with a strikeout per inning on the farm last year, so there's a very good chance that Taneichi comes back even stronger and exceeds his 2019 numbers in his age 24 season. I want to pick at least one reliever for this list, and there are a ton of choices, but I think the safest bet is to pick a guy from a team that has a pretty mediocre bullpen because he has the best chance to get a bigger role as the year goes on, and that's why I'm selecting Naoya Ishikawa of the Nippon Ham Fighters. On the surface, his career numbers aren't eye-popping, and he missed a couple of years with a major elbow injury, but his stuff is elite, and he's consistently underperformed his peripheral numbers like fielding independent pitching. 
Last year, he had a 27.4% strikeout rate, a 2.36 FIP, and a 2.91 XFIP in 36 appearances, only giving up one home run. So he strikes out batters at an above average rate while limiting the walks and home runs. And that's a pretty straightforward formula for success. So with the fighter's improved defense behind him, he should have quite a bit of success pitching in a lot of high leverage situations, and he may even win the closer job. Alright, so there you have it, 5 MPB breakout pitcher picks for 2023. Fuji and Saiki are almost guaranteed to have success this year, but I'm not quite as confident in some of the others because Yamashita has no MPB experience, while Taniichi and Ishikawa are coming off some major injuries. So I'm really excited to watch them all season and see how they develop. Let me know who you think is poised for a big year in the comments below. Thanks for watching, please like and subscribe for more MPB content in English.